I can't stop you from doing anything, but I of feel course. as your mother, you should respect me. Yeah. And we should have that conversation because we're very close to the family. Yeah. So I said, obviously, I was surprised. Of but course. I am supporting him in whatever he wants to do because That's I, really I think it's beautiful that, you know what, he's praying to God. Yeah, of obviously, course. he's praying in his way. He's praying yeah. to God. But because I have no immediate, I don't know, when he goes to the mosque, I don't know nobody from the mosque. I don't know his friends. Of I said to one of the guys that I know used to go to school with, yeah. I'm having my kitchen done at the moment. I said, once my teacher, kitchen's done, I want him to come. Bring your friend, because I need to, I, I don't course. know these people who he's praying yeah, that's, with. That's important, that's important. And that's yeah. what I'm, it is very important. So I'm going in as a blind parent. Yeah. So I just want to see if I can educate myself enough so that I can, you know, have those open conversations with him and see yeah, what's that, going on. But go on, you can tell me what it was. Sorry, but, but the thing is, you must have that relationship with him already, isn't it? That's the, I do. Because the way you talk, it seems like you have a like a good relationship. You understand him. He understands you. How old is he? He's 21, and he went and oh. and he went and done it without any of us like knowing. So okay. I was a little bit like shocked. Yeah, I was like, but why wouldn't you share that with me? There he is. Okay. Perhaps he was nervous. Like you might try and no, put him off, or you might. But like he knows what kind of parent I am. I can't. He's 21. I can't stop. And I've always grown him to be confident in what yeah. it is you want to do. And that's what you want to do. I will support you. Why would I not? Yeah. So you took that away from me. Because he was. He must have been looking into it for a while, isn't for it? For a little while, as he was growing up, he was, for a little while he has uh, um, talked about different religions to me. So he's okay. always had an interest in yeah. not being because he used to take the mickey at me because I'm a Catholic. I said, listen. I don't follow their teachings, but I pray to God. I know who yeah, God yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Because every religion has their downsides and things uh, that they do. So yeah. that's who I knew growing up. So yeah. I never ventured into any other religions, but he's this generation that now, yeah. the kids are more open now, they will go and venture into different religions, whereas we didn't. Especially when you go to school now, because most schools, especially in East London, they're full of Muslim children. Exactly. It's exactly. online, TikTok. And... But he went to a Catholic school as well, so he was okay. never exposed to it. Okay. So it's just, I think, through maybe just growing up and him just having an interest in religion, yeah. that he just thought, okay, it's Islam is the right one for me okay. to go okay. to and he's, he's very much, I just want to cook to myself, I mean I, I know there's certain foods that he eats, certain foods he doesn't eat, but naturally I don't eat those foods anyway, Okay. so he's going, I've never, I don't eat pork, okay. he was still eating pork and I wasn't eating pork for a very long okay. time, I stopped my pork journey, Okay. obviously now we do buy my, more halal foods, yeah, but yeah. I have bought halal food in the past anyway, do you yeah. know what I mean, so yeah, it's just yeah. little adjustments and obviously this is going to be the first Christmas that yeah, he's that's not going to celebrate, so that's going to be difficult. He was still having family meal with us, okay. but he's not going to... But that's good you're there to help him and support him. I've got him. one son, yeah. and I can't lose him to nobody, so of I course. need to educate myself. Of course. So that we can maintain our relationship. No, it should be, it should be open. Like, um, there's a very interesting verse, if you don't mind, I'll just... Yeah. Oh, can I have an English no, Quran? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. Give to this uh, let's see. Oh, it's, it's a bit difficult to see this time of day. Yeah, it's a bit dark, isn't it? Let me just... Especially as I'm getting old, man. Phone? Yeah, I have it on my phone. Let me just see. Because um, what mosque do you attend? Where do you go? See, I live Plasto. So, I, you know, with mosques, usually we just go to whichever one's near our house. Oh, okay. And we go to we go to various ones. So it's, it's not like, um, you know, you have a fixed church. No, you or, don't. And yeah. I know that. You can go to different yeah. I was going to say, do you know anything about this mosque? Because he, he attends this so one. Are. Okay, so I go. That one. Have you heard of that one? Al Huda? Dov Chadwee? No, I don't know that side. Don't, oh, no, no, he goes no. down there. But most mosques are okay. But, I mean, you're his mum. Yeah. If, if you want, you should tell him, look, I want to know, like, the person who, who's talking to him and he, he embraced Islam with. Yeah. Tell him, I want to meet him, I want to meet his wife. That's I want to meet him, I want my kitchen yeah. to be done. Yeah. I want to meet him and see what kind of character he is. Of course, of course, because that's your right. Uh, let me just see. So this is, is in Quran. I just want to show you something. It might... Uh, let's see. So this is the person called Luqman in, okay. in the past. Uh, so this is basically Luqman is giving advice to his son and he's telling his son to worship God alone, etc. But then when it mentions the mother, it mentions uh, well, we're saying it in San today he had married to Ummu who one and other one. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No, thank you. So the meaning is, it says, and we have uh, advised upon mankind towards their mothers because the mother has carried him weakness upon weakness. And uh, how do you say the weaning is a period of two years. Mm -hmm. So then God says, be grateful to me 
and be grateful to your parents and to me is your return. So and then it says, when, uh, and if your parents, they force you to make partners with me, to worship other than me, that which you, that which you have no knowledge, then do not obey them. But live with them in this world in a good manner. So basically, here the Quran is saying that is the rights of the parents, particularly the mother, has have always they always come after the rights of God to show how important they I, are. Do you know what I yeah. said that to him? I yeah. said the paradise yeah. that the mother is is at the feet of your mother. Yes. Do you know this? Yeah, yeah. And he looks me very surprised. Yeah, because I have Muslim friends we talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they're gonna educate me. They're gonna guide me. So I said like you know. So, yeah, so even Islam is saying, if your parents, which you're not, but if, if your parents try to take you away, you still have to live with them in a good manner. I, yeah. I don't know, you probably heard as well, a man came to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and he said, from all people, who has the most rights of companionship over me? And he said, your mother. Then the man said, who next? He said, your mother. He said, three times, who next? Your mother. Then he said, who next? He said, your father. And then God. Yeah, so, well, no. This is from the people, people but, but yeah. the scholars explain because the mother's nine months are carrying you, the mother's labor, and the mother's bringing you up. So she has more rights over you of companions. So he should understand that. But I think if I just give you like a very brief introduction to what Islam is, you probably know already, but the word Islam, it means submission. And a Muslim is someone who submits. So we believe that all of the prophets uh, we believe in the prophets like Abraham, Noah, Moses, Jesus, and obviously Muhammad. We don't believe they came with um, is, uh, Judaism or Christianity. We believe they all came with Islam, submission to the one true God. The most important thing in, in Islam is to worship God alone. So we believe in Jesus, but we don't believe he is God. We don't believe in the Trinity. And we believe that all mankind has their own relationship with God. When I when I worship, I worship God alone. I don't have to go through saints. That's I what I said to him. He knows yeah. that I, I don't practice yeah. all of that. Because yeah. from, long, from long, I was like, that don't make no sense. Why do I need to go to a priest to confess? I can talk to God direct. Yeah. I have a relationship with God myself. Yeah. I don't need to speak to nobody to speak to God for me uh -huh. or to forgive me. God, yeah. I, only God can do that. And also, on the same point, obviously we all commit sins. We all make mistakes. We believe because God is the most merciful, the most forgiving, we, we turn to him. We don't believe that Jesus had to die for us. Yeah. We just believe he was sent as a noble messenger mm -hmm. to the children of Israel to tell them to come back to the worship of, of God alone and, Mo and Moses. That's the basic bottom line of Islam. And then obviously we believe in, you have to accept all the messengers, but we believe the last messenger for all mankind is the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The thing with Islam is a complete way of life, like how yeah. to how, how to worship, how to eat, how to clean yourself, yeah. how to ha look after your wife, your children, how to look after your parents. So it's going to be a, a long journey for him. But um, the main thing is, I think if you get to know the people in the mosque he goes to. Yeah, um, that's the only thing that concerns me, because we all know, we're all realistic. No, we, we know have, sometimes we... things can happen and people can get groomed and we know them. That's yes. what, and that's what I was trying to say to him. I said, you made me be suspicious yeah. because you never said nothing to yeah, me yeah, as yeah. your mother. Yeah, yeah. I am very open to, I support you as my son. Yeah. I'm glad that I've grown you in a way that you just made the decision for yourself. Yeah. And I'm happy that you have a relationship with God. However you choose to worship God, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're worshiping God. Because at one phase, I, I, yeah. at one point, I didn't think he was religious at all. Uh, because he wasn't really he's young, speaking isn't about it. Yeah, yeah, he's 21. Yeah, he's young, so, yeah. But you go through uh, like phases. A little phase, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm yeah. glad that you know, he's finally his way back. And I respect this is what he wants to do. Yeah. But don't, don't exclude me. Yeah. Let me be a part of it. I want to see what's going on. I, you know, I'm here to support you. No, he should, he should, I, I would, you, can, you can say, I met a Muslim and the Muslim said that you should look after your mum but you should be open about everything. Yeah. Because, it, I mean, if you want to get, it, say for example, he's old, he tells you something and it makes you angry, it makes you upset. Mm -hmm. You're still his mum. You're still going to be there for him. So I think it's, yeah, just tell him to be open and then try and meet the people in that mosque. Yeah, no, I will. That's what I've been planning to do to me. And I have a very good friend. Yeah. He's known my son from little. Yeah. He's Muslim. Yeah. And I said to him, when you're going to the mosque, I want you you to go to the mosque with my son so you can also tell me if he's with the right people where yeah, he's yeah, praying yeah. because yeah. I don't know this mosque where he's going I but, don't know the people but I would say I mean people have different opinions but when yeah. it comes to um, mosques when it comes to um, 
centres of education, none of them in this country I know teach um, terrorism or extremism. That usually comes amongst young people who are like, they see things happening around the world, they become emotional, and someone, but and someone will take advantage of them. Yeah. But that, that, that doesn't happen in mosques and it yeah. doesn't happen in uh, religious centres. Mm -hmm. That's more, you know, online. Yeah. It, it does happen, but... But I think if you, get, if you get to know the people in the mosque, they, they should look after him. Yeah. yeah. But where do you live, if you don't mind I, asking? I live around here, but he's staying at my mum's house. Okay. He's in Chadwell Heath. Yeah, because that, that, the reason why I'm asking, because... Yes. We don't have this thing about I go to this mosque. Yeah, I know you can go to any. Yeah, because you, because we pray five times a day, mm -hmm. and most mosques they will have five times a day, so we always go to the one nearest That's our nearest. house. Exactly. Yeah. You could be at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're, you're not working yeah, yeah, yeah. where you live, so you yeah, have yeah. to go and pray. Yeah. yeah. So we don't have that thing. Of, so it's. It's hard to tell, okay, my son goes here, that's what yeah. they think, that's what he thinks. But it's, it's usually along the, those same lines. But he, he should take it like calm and slow and be open with you. Yeah, so, that's the only thing that I was concerned about. So now I can now go and educate myself yeah. a bit more and then have those conversations with him. And like I said, the first thing I will do, as soon as my kitchen's ready, I want to meet his friends, yeah, yeah, yeah. welcome you into my home, because I don't know him. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. just, you know... No, because, uh, I mean... Obviously, we've only just met, but from yeah. what I've seen from you, it's like you're you're you, you're concerned about him. You're there to support him. You're not there to um, yeah, not. Pre prevent him. His, and even if you were, life. even it's if you choice. were, no, but even if you were, it would be out of a place of concern. It wouldn't be out of. Yeah. So he should he should be open with you. I've told I've told him that. I said everything I do is at a place of love for you. It's not have anything else. So, you know, I share things with you openly because you're an adult now. You're 21. I don't have to hide things from him anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said we should have those conversations. Like, why are you afraid? Because when he told one of the guys that he um he does training and the guy he trains him, he's also Muslim. Okay. And. I think that the, he thought I would have been really like angry with my son. Okay. So he said to the he said to the guy, the guy said to him, oh, what did your mum say? And he said to the man, my mum was really just supportive. She didn't she like wasn't even a big deal. That's quite normal nowadays. Yeah. But he was surprised. Yeah. He thought I was gonna really like kick off and be like, No, you're not going to be yeah, yeah, yeah. No, why would I do it? It's my son. I don't want to lose well, my son. Some, some people do that. Some people do that. Yeah, because we but don't know. know it's yeah. out of fear and we don't understand yeah. it. So Yeah. But you should tell him just be open with you because he's young. He might get married soon. So That's you, what I said. I said, so what, are you going to marry a Muslim girl? He said, well, she, even if she's not, she'll have to convert. This is yeah, me, but, but, but tell him, look, I, I want to know, I want, if, if you're looking like that, tell me. I'll, I'll advise you. I won't interfere. I won't. But I'll be interfere. I'm a mum. In, in a, in a good, honest, no, in in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> yeah, in a good way. Yeah. In a guiding way. But yeah. Ultimately, the choice is his. I, yeah. I leave him to yeah. make his choices, but I was just a bit concerned because I don't know nothing about it like that. I've never really dwelled into it. I have lots of friends that are Muslim, yeah, yeah. but I've not really like sat down and... But I, I, would, I would tell him as well that he upset you. No, I did. I told him that. I said, like, you could Because concern is one thing, but upset, it upset you as well. Yeah, no, yeah. I think he knows that. Because yeah. I, I had that conversation with him. I said, you could have told me. I said, like, yeah. you denied me that right to celebrate with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, like, you put your bias, opinion, thinking how I would react. And I didn't mean to react in that way. Yeah, like, no, because me, I, I, be, I became Muslim 93. Oh. So I'm a, and I, I, sorry to say to you, I done the same. I became Muslim. What's wrong with you lot? Why though? I don't know, because we, we think we're free. To, you are free, but we're here for it, you though. To be honest, it didn't even come in my mind. Selfish. And, and then when I went and told my mum, yeah. um, my mum, she told me later, she was happy, but she, she just thought it was a phase, I'll go yeah. through it. And then because I've got a wife and I've got children and this is their grandmum, She's, she's happy about it. Yeah. yeah. No, we're, not, we're not that happy for you. I just yeah. didn't like that. He's, you got to remember, that's a life change. That's a lifestyle. It's a, it's a big thing. It's a whole yeah. thing. It's very it's big, like, yeah. I don't want to do nothing right, wrong. Like, I could be cooking you regular chicken, yeah. not realizing that you've converted because you're hiding it from me. Yeah, I'm yeah. giving you regular chicken, and then you're going to be like, but mum, you made me put something in my body that's unclean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're going to blame me, no? Yeah. So it's a conversation, you need to let me know what's happening because obviously yeah. now you're only going to have halal food yeah, yeah. or halal meat. Yeah. I know you can also have like fish, all fish is halal anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but you need to prepare us and let us know what's going on. You can't hide something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all a family, we're all together and we've, we've always been open. So the fact that he concealed that and he did it on the Friday 
He told my mum when he came home. Do you know, not to be uh, picky. Yeah. Do you think he concealed it as in, in his mind he thought, I want to hide this from my mum? Or do you just think that he he just went with the flow? And he, he, yeah, I think he went with the flow. And which he is just not, like, not really concealing it. It's not, yeah. it's, it's not the best way. It's definitely not yeah. the best way. I think what it it was, wasn't malicious. No, I don't think he done it maliciously. I think he'd done it, and I, I just feel like he'd done it in the sense that I don't want to hear nothing negative before I go and do it. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe, because yeah. he wasn't—he was unsure of my response, how I would react. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, it wasn't—it was a surprise that he'd done it. But like I said, for a long time, he has been saying things about yeah. Islam. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. when he would greet me, he would say certain things to me, like you know, he'd say "Alaikum Salam." So "Alaikum Salam, my brother." You yeah, know, yeah. he would say little things, or he'd say like "Inshallah." I'd go, "Okay, Queen, say Inshallah." Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so he'd say little, and he'd send me little messages. I didn't think nothing covered. I thought he's just a phrase because he's got a lot of Muslim friends. So I did. I tell him happy ease, yeah. not knowing that he's actually yeah, thinking yeah, yeah. about going to do it. And this year he took the bite and he said, "No, I'm going to do it." And he did it a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, "Wow!" But you didn't tell us. Okay, but I'm, I'm not going to. Yeah, I'm not going to keep going over I'm, it. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going to make a like opportunity to. But your beliefs that they're in line with Islam anyway. Like if you believe you worship God directly, and you but believe. That's why I said that to him. He yeah. knows this. Yeah. Because I have said a lot of similar things, and even down to the cleansing, he knows I do certain things in a way because we've been, we've been brought up in a certain way to do certain things anyway. And I don't eat pig. I, I haven't eaten pork for like twenty something years. I don't. You don't eat mind it. me asking, what's your background? I'm Caribbean. Okay, okay. I'm born here, but my mum's from Sydney, so my dad's from Jamaica. Okay. But I don't. I used to do a lot of work with Rastafarians. Okay. And Rastas, they don't eat pork. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I've never eaten it. I don't. I used to back in the day. I love bacon sandwich. Back in yeah. the day, <laughs> I did. Though, I did. I'm gonna be honest. We yeah, don't yeah. catch up. But I don't. Anything that's with pig in it, I don't eat it. Okay. So he knows this, and he's just like, there are very a lot of similarities. And he's There's seen a lot that. of similarities. Yeah, yeah. he's seen that because he knows yeah. I do believe in God. He yeah. sees me pray. He just, he just. Sometimes he takes the mickey out of me. And says. Why do you keep saying Jesus? I said, why, oh, Prince? It's God then. Is it your habit? Yeah, it's a habit because it's been brainwashed from but school. But do you believe Jesus is God or he's a... Uh... He's supposed to be separate. Okay. God is, God is direct. Okay. We don't need so nobody else to go yeah, straight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I do. You never know, I might come back, you, you might convert me. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I said to my son. I said, you never know, you might convert yeah. me, but... But just, just tell him, like, we're here every Saturday. If he wants, we can meet. But tell him, I suggest, like, Obviously, take care of your mum. Yeah. That's that's extremely important. Yeah. And be completely open. And yeah. I, th I think it's, he, he might be embarrassed, he might be shy, because mm. you know, 21 years old and yeah. like, my children, they're like from 16 to 27. And obviously they, they come to a point where they don't always want to share. They, they don't want you in their life because you're a yeah, exactly. old man, embarrassing and yeah. stuff like that. But tell him, this person, like the one who's um, talking to him, like with the white beard. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got. Meet him. Meet him, meet his wife. Yeah. No, I mean, I, will. I, said, yeah. I said that to him. Like, That's you know. my advice. He doesn't yeah, no, have to it take is. it. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah, yeah. He knows me because I'll be in that mosque otherwise. Yeah, yeah. I will go in there and I'll say, "Where's my son?" Why not? <laughs> I it's will. Okay. It's okay. He knows yeah. I'm crazy like that. Cause no, it's I've only, fine. I've only got one boy. Yeah, I've only got the one, so it's... Yeah. No, but why not? You're his mom. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, thank you ever so much for your no time problem. today. I'm going to read much. this and protect this. No problem. No safe. problem. Thank All the best.